Hello, do you know what's wrong with the world? You can try to resume it into... Ah, oh, it's politics. Ah, oh, it's people that... That's corrupted and evil people in the government. Or... You can try to resume it to people, but it... The real reason is... Feel, a feeling. The same feeling that it's... In everyone's heart. It's... Everywhere. And... Whoever exploit this feeling, whoever knows to control you by this feeling, is who has the power around everything. Fear. Everybody is filled with fear. They have fear of not controlling themselves, they fear not controlling who they are. They fear not having control. So, they will do everything to feel in control. They will do everything, even not feeling anything. So, they fear being hurt, so they shut themselves in and stop feeling. They fear not knowing what to do, so they follow. Follow someone who thinks that know what to do. So they follow some leaders, they follow some groups, because they fear thinking for themselves, they fear acting, making a choice, because that takes risks, and these risks can bring you pain. The world is not ruled for those who are strong. The world, the world, the world is ruled for those who are weak and have hate. Hate for love. Once you learn to love, you'll see that things can work very well if you work together. People rather shut themselves into books and learning and acquiring, acquiring knowledge. Sorry. It's my dog, Elijah. This is... Live in a simple place, but if you see... Everything is like the same shape, a gray forest. There is no life in the constructions, there is no life in what you see. It's everything feels like the same. Everywhere is like the same. Why? Order. That's, what, that's what's happening. They want to bring order. They want to have order in everything. They want to control, they want to know. If I go to the States, if I go to the city, it will be the same as everywhere. So like this I can not fear what's around the world. So everyone thinks they know the world, everyone thinks they have seen everything. So they stop exploring, they stop having this very feeling that moves everyone. Mystery. How can someone live without mystery? You can't live without mystery. If you have no mystery for life, no curiosity, no, no sense of wonder, you stop moving, you stuck yourself in, in a place and everything stops, everything lose, loses the light. You become just someone who pushes life, just pushing life. But if you learn to embrace the things, if you learn to open yourself, your heart, you will finally start to feel something. You start to feel, the sim even the simple things will become more rich, rich of feelings, rich of new, new things. If you close yourself, if you just seek for entertainment, if you just seek for become like brainiac, you know, you just analyze, catalog and separate. I know, this is this, you put no feeling into this, you know, you just you never feel this. You know, when someone tries to know each other, it's very common to just know what you do. Oh, you are an engineer. Oh, he's an engineer. That's it. They don't care about who is this person, uh, how how did all this history behind this person to reach this. They just assume ah, he studied and that's it. They just catalog. They just give no fuck to the history of someone. They don't care how hard it was to reach place to reach a state to reach a 
I'm sorry, I'm a little sick. So, how, how different do you think it would be the world if everyone and everything could have a, a heart into it? You could put your heart into, into everything you construct, everything you, you create. If people started to think less of money and uh, patterns, try to make everything look like the same. You could see every corner, every street, everything could have art, real art, the real expression that comes from the heart. Everything would be different. Everything would be different. So if we stop idolizing the money, God. God is no money. Money is no God. So we stop idolizing money. Money gives the false sensation of power, of control. It will just give you more and more distance between the heart, your heart, and everyone else's heart. With money and power, you just become someone who's obsessed with control and less able to love, less able to, to feel it, each one. If you become famous, if you become popular, you just become another superficial people, a superficial per person who can't become close enough to anyone. People will idolize you, will follow you, but they will not really know who you really are and you will start to feel alone, empty. So what's the point? And why they want you to believe in it? That power and money will give you everything you want, everything you need. It's all about control. They want you to do what they want you to do. They want you to become. You know, you know, to have a battery. Pretend that there's a battery here. I thought I had one close to me. So you're just a battery for the system. The system, corrupted system, this dirty system that makes you do things you don't want, things you don't like for years. To have a change, to have a little control of your life. That's all based on fear. There are people who just live without control. They are simple people and they can be happy because they are not controlled by fear. They are free. They are free. They learned how to love life. They learned how to love themselves. And that's real, real hair people. Uh, you can see other kinds of people who think they, they are free, but they're all stuck into hate, they are shackled into, into hate for control, hate for authority and also they are afraid to feel what they really what they are really feeling. So well that's it. This is a video made for a little introduction. I just got 300 subscribers in this channel. Never thought it would have anyone watching my videos, but okay. Thank you, and um, hope you understand this English. Any questions? Any? If you wanna be a friend? If you wanna talk? Feel free to. Thank you.